Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and hello everyone. In this video, we're going to proceed with a new subtopic 1.3 stoichiometry specifically for the first part balancing equations. Subtopic 1.3 will cover vast amount of tutorial hour. You can see there are 7 hours in total. It can be divided into two parts. First is balancing equations. We have NFTF week 2 hour 3 and FFTF week 2 hour 3. Once you know how to balance the equations, then only we'll proceed to problem solving which require balance equations to be used. Then we'll start from week 3 hour 1 until week 4 hour 3. So what is meant by this stoichiometry? Stoichiometry is the numerical relationship. So you know numerical belongs to number. And this relationship is between chemical quantities in a balanced chemical equations. So chemical quantities here is referring to reactants on the left hand side and product on the right hand side of a chemical equations. For this subtopic, there will be two parts to be learned. First, you need to know how to balance the equations. Next, solving the stoichiometric problem. These two must be done according to the sequence because stoichiometric calculations cannot be done if your equations is left unbalanced. As for balancing equations, you will learn two types of equations, chemical and redox reactions. Chemical equations is pretty basic, just like ordinary equations you always see before. Um, for example, you have carbon plus oxygen to form carbon dioxide and water. You just need to check whether the number of elements is equal on both sides of the equations. So this method of inspect then balance is called inspection method. As for redox reactions, we have both oxidations and reduction reactions involving movement of electrons. So we kind of need an extra method to be used. Inspection is still necessary, but in addition to that, we'll be also be using ion electron method. We'll do an example of chemical equations that need the inspection method to be balanced. So we have C8H18 plus O2 to form CO2 plus H2O. They are still unbalanced. So first, we're going to separate them into two parts, reactants on the left and products on the right. Our aim is to ensure both sides are balanced with the same number of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. Always starts with element that is most stable as monoatom, which in this case, the carbon. So we have 8 carbon on the left and only 1 carbon on the right. So we need to multiply it with 8 to get the same number as on the reactant parts. Then we'll go for hydrogen. We got 18 hydrogens on the left, while only 2 hydrogens on the right. So to get 18 from 2, we need to multiply it with 9. Lastly, we'll balance the oxygen. So we have oxygens on both carbon dioxide and water, while only oxygen gas on the left hand side. On the left hand side, we only have 2 oxygen, while the right we have 25 oxygen. Where did we get this number? So this 9 is times with 1, so we got 9. And then 8 times with 2, we got 16. So therefore, we got these 25 oxygen. For the oxygen on the left, to comply with the oxygen that only exists as diatomic molecules, you need to put 25 by 2. So they are now all balanced. You can also multiply the whole equations with 2 to make all the coefficients whole number like this. Why 2? Because we want to make this number gone from this equation. So you can times everything with 2. Next is balancing equations using ion electron method. In this example, you are given the following unbalanced equations Fe2 plus plus Cr2 O7 to minus to form Fe3 plus plus Cr3 plus. So you cannot simply inspect this equation just like previous example because clearly the species is different from one another. Although you have Fe and Fe, but then the charge is different, making them different. Inspection method is still needed but not from the start. 
from the name of this method itself, it is suggesting the use of electrons. Electrons in a chemical equations can be found from the redox reaction only. So you might need to consider to separate those species into two half reactions. One is oxidations and the other one is reductions as the first step. How to determine which of these two species gonna undergo the oxidations or reductions? Just a quick recap. Oxidations releases electrons, so electrons must be added on the right hand side. While reductions accepts electrons, so electrons must be added on the left hand side. To know which side will they belong to, we need to check their oxidation number. Fe got overall charge of positive 2 charge on the left and positive 3 charge on the right. If we want to balance it with electrons that carry negative charge, we should add them to the side with more positive value as our aim is to tone down the number and make them balance with one another. So if we want to add electrons on here, means they are on the right hand side as suggested before, this is going to be reactions for oxidation reactions. It is not necessary to check for reductions as well if you already determined the one for oxidations. But if you want to double check, then if you already determined the one for oxidations. But if you want to double check, Cr2O72- got the overall charge of negative 2. But we want to find the charge for only Cr. So you can refer the charge of oxygen in the lecture note that is negative 2. So we have 2 Cr and for oxygen, we need to times 7 with negative 2. And then they must be equal to negative 2 because of the overall charge. Once we times the 7 equal to negative 2, we're going to get negative 14. If we bring this negative 14, cross over this equal sign, they're going to be positive 14. Well, this negative 2 and positive 14 will give you a total of positive 12 for the 2CR. So in order for you to get only for CR species, we're going to divide them with 2. Therefore, we're going to get CR on the left hand side with positive 6 charge while CR on the right hand side with positive 3 charge. To balance both sides, electrons must be added on the left hand side here with positive 6 charge with more positive value. Therefore, this species of Cr2O72- will undergo reduction reactions where electron will be added on the left hand side. To make it easier, please fix the positions of your arrow to avoid confusion throughout this method. So we can now write these species at their respective reactions, Fe2+, to become Fe3+, and Cr2O72- to become Cr3+. Before we make these balancing steps complicated, we need to first apply the inspection method where we need to balance the atoms other than O and H in the half reactions. Please be reminded that this method is solely depends on the coefficients of the ions, not the charge of the ions. As of Fe, we cannot apply these steps because Fe2 plus and Fe3 plus already have coefficients of 1. Here we have 1, here we have 1. If we look at the reductions reactions, we could see that the reactant side got 2 Cr while the product side got only 1 Cr. So, we need to make the number of Cr for both sides becomes 2. So, here we have 2 Cr and then here we got to add 2 at the front. So, they become 2 Cr as well. Moving on to the next steps, whenever you see oxygen, you have to add water molecules to balance your equations. How much H2O should be added? You must look at the number of oxygens present. From this example, we could see there are 7 oxygens on the reactant side, while 0 oxygens on the product side. Therefore, 7 water molecules will be added to the product side. 
Once you have added the water, obviously there will be hydrogens on the product side, while there are none of them in the reactant side. Hence, 14 H plus will be added to the reactant side because to balance hydrogen atoms, you need to add hydrogen plus ion. Adding only water and hydrogen ion won't suffice the name of this method. Here come the crucial steps where we're going to add the electrons. You need to check their charge again. For oxidations, we have positive 2 and positive 3. So our aim is to make the number smallest as we can. As suggested by this, we want to make it to 2. And they need to be equal to one another. So by adding 1 electrons, we're going to get these reactions balanced. As for reductions, the reactant side suggests we have positive 14, so this positive 14 comes from 14H+, and negative 2 comes from the Cr2072-. So these two uh, being totaled up, then we're going to get positive 12. While the product side, we got positive 6 comes from the 2 Cr3+, so we times 2 with 3, and then 0 from H2O because this is just neutral molecules so a total of 6 to get 12 to 6 we're gonna add 6 electrons on the reactant side but this equation is not yet balanced they are only balanced if all the electrons are removed to do this you need to make the number of electrons for both reactions equal so we're gonna times the whole oxidation reactions with 6 Therefore, electrons can be eliminated from the balance equations by cancelling electrons located on different sides. So from oxidations, we have 6 electrons on the right-hand side, while on reductions, we have 6 electrons on the left-hand side, so they can be cancelled out. Just to remind you, when the same species is on different side, they can be cancelled. If the same species is located on the same side, they can be added. Lastly, transfer all the species on the reactant and product side respectively. You will get your net equations of 6Fe2+, plus 14H+, plus, plus Cr2O72-. Plus so basically, everything in here comes from the reactant sides to form 6Fe3+, plus, plus 2Cr3+, plus, plus 7H2O. This comes from the product side. So this net equation is now in acidic medium. It is acidic because it contains H+. The questions can also ask for net equations in basic medium. For basic medium, you just need to continue from previous net equations. Add OH- that represent basic solutions to both sides of the reactions. But how much should be added? Depends on the number of hydrogen present. So we have 14H plus in here, means we're going to add 14OH minus on both sides, not just one side. You could see there will be both 14H plus and 14OH minus on the reactant side. Same number of H plus and OH minus will somehow combine to form water molecule. So this water molecule that will be formed will mix up to a total of 14 water. As I mentioned earlier, if we have the same species on both sides, they can be cancelled. Even though the number is not the same. We have 14 water molecules on the left and 7 water molecules on the right. So 14 will minus 7, we are left with only 7 water molecules on the left. Lastly, it can be concluded that 6 Fe2 plus plus 7H2O plus Cr2O72 to minus to become 6Fe3 plus 2Cr3 plus plus 14OH minus is the net equations in basic medium. So they are now basic because they got 14OH minus in their net equations. Well, I guess that's it for balancing equations. You may now proceed to do the non-face-to-face -face and face-to-face -face questions for week 2 hour 3. Thank you.